I want to wash your clothes. <laughs> not that I'm saying you smell. Well, not in a bad way. Um, I suppose you do have a remarkable odour that permeates your clothes a bit, especially after a 12-hour shift. Um, but I'm rather fond of your natural scent. I've spent the last 10 months trying to crack the coded notes that make up the formula of your pheromones. The only thing I want to wash away are the cortisol stress stains at the end of each day after you've recarpeted the bedroom carpet with your charming distribution of garments. You're a better artist than Tracy Emin was. So your version of the bed is far less contrived and I've decided to stay around your house every night the last seven nights this week so I can keep picking up your mystery boxes off the floor in order to determine whether you've already worn them by holding them tentatively to my nose and concluding, yes, I do need to wash these clothes. <laughs> I want to wash your clothes. And I know it makes me sound like a, a bad feminist, but it's nothing to do with gender standards or male pandering. The man goes through clothes like a Chinese laundrette. I've never met anyone who can fill their oversized laundry basket instantaneously, leaving them nothing clean to wear, but simultaneously having more clothes than Kim Kardashian's entire wardrobe. <laughs> and though I empty that basket three times weekly, it remains full, bursting at the seams with work-stained black jeans and off-white white tees and those joggers that you should have thrown away years ago with the tear, and uh, 13 odd socks and never a matching pair, and, and lighters and, and train tickets and 20 peas sometimes a pound, <laughs> and, uh, and chewing gum and, and pens and ripped up bits of tissue paper. Are you 10 years old? I want to wash your clothes. <laughs> but when you propose that I should move in with you to your 10-inch biscuit tin-sized room too small for two people to coexist with barely enough space to swing a cat or a fist, where an entrance you have to manoeuvre yourself around the open door in order to stand in the only available square inch patch of land still adorned with the aforementioned garments garnishing the territory surrounding the three-quarter size and normal size of a standard double bed in which our heads could never rest more than a candlestick width apart and we, the midnight contortionists, must distort our limbs into flesh-made harnesses in order to stop us from tumbling from the precipice of your three-quarter mattress. Well, I said I wasn't sure. But despite this, I've decided to stay around your house every night the last seven nights this week in your biscuit tin retreat that's becoming my home. I don't know if I want to move in yet. I just want to wash your clothes. Thank you. Yeah.